In this question, we're given three points, A, B and C, and their coordinates. We're asked to show they're collinear. Various methods we could use. We could use vectors. We could find equations of lines. The method I'm going to use is using gradients. So let's have a look at the picture. There's the point A, negative 7, 2. Somewhere along here is the point 2, 1. And the point C... 17, 6. Now I'm going to look at a couple of straight line segments, starting at A, ending at B, and starting at A and ending at C. Now several things could happen when we start looking at the gradients of these line segments. We could work out the gradient of A, B, and compare it with the gradient of AC and notice that the gradient of AC is greater than the gradient of AB or it could be less. Now in both these cases AB and C will not be collinear. The only time they'll be collinear is if the line segment AC has the same gradient as AB. In effect AC and AB are parallel and they start at the same point. That would prove that they're collinear. And this common point A is important because you can imagine we can have a two line segments that don't start at the same point. They have the same gradient, so they're parallel, but this point A, B and C are not collinear despite the fact the gradients are the same. So it's crucial that they start at the same place at A. So let's check the gradient. Gradient of the point of the line AB, y difference over x difference, y difference, that's 1 minus negative 2. And remember always to start with the same point for these differences, 2 minus negative 7 for the x difference. So that's 1 plus 2 over 2 plus 7, giving us 1 third for the gradient of line segment AB. Let's look at line segment AC, gradient of AC, the y difference, 6 minus negative 2. x difference, 17 minus negative 7. So that's 6 plus 2, 17 plus 7, 24. So we do get the same gradient. So because the gradients are the same, we know now that the line segment AB is parallel to the line segment AC. And to rule out this possibility here, we have to emphasize the fact that since a is a common point. The fact that parallel means they, the only conclusion is they must be collinear. Then A, B and C are collinear. So let's move on to the second part of the question, where here are our three collinear points A, B and C, and they're now the centres of three circles, all touching, and we've got a larger circle that contains these three circles and they're touching at the end of this common line through their centres various pieces of information about the gradient given and we're asked to find the equation of this larger circle centre D. So let's first of all have a look more closely at this uh, diagram and put down the information that we know A is negative 7, negative 2, B we know was 2, 1, and C, we're told, is 17, 6. And we have to find the equation of the circle centre D. Now, we need to know, first of all, the radius of the circle centre D. 
And we also need to know the coordinates of D. Where is the point D? And remember the, the formula that we had, if we have a, an AB for the centre of a circle and we have a radius R, then the equation of that circle is X minus B all squared plus Y minus sorry, x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals r squared. So we're going to be using this formula eventually. But to do that, we need to know the centre and we need to know the radius. So let's work out the radius of circle centre d. And what are we told? We're told that the radius of A is root 10. So there's a couple of root 10s. Now what we're told about B, the radius of B is twice that of the radius of A. So this will be twice root 10 and this will be twice root 10. And presumably, therefore, we have the radius of the circle D as being a root 10 plus a root 10 plus 2 root 10 plus 2 root 10. That would be 6 lots of root 10. So we suspect that that's what's the case. The radius of D is 6 lots of root 10. However, we do have another piece of information. Let's just check this one out. That the radius of circle C is the same as the radius of A plus the radius of B. That would have to be the case uh, because if it wasn't, then D wouldn't be the centre of a circle that touches here. Radius A plus radius B is root 10 plus 2 root 10. That's 3 root 10. So if the radius of C was not the radius of A plus the radius of B, this larger circle 3D would not touch at this point here. It would be larger or smaller. So that ties up with the, the 6 root 10. So that's the radius worked out. And let's work now on the centre coordinates. That's what we've defined. In other words, what are the coordinates of point D? Well, let's have a look at this uh, line joining B to C. And we can see that D lies two units along there. We'll call that two bits. And this one, three bits. In other words, D divides BC in the ratio two to three. Altogether, from B to C, we can think of that as being five bits long. And to get from B up to D, we've done two of these five bits. We've gone two-fifths of the way along. So if we were to look, first of all, at the whole journey from B to C, we've gone from an x-coordinate of 2 to 17. That's 15 along to the right. And how far up have we gone? We were at the height of 1, we've gone up to height of 6, that's 5. So the whole journey from B to C is 15 along, 5 up. So the journey from B to D, we've just figured that was 2 bits out of the whole 5 bits, so that's 2 fifths of that journey. Now, one-fifth of 15 is 3, and double that to get the two-fifths, that's 6. And then one-fifth of 5 is 1, to so double that to get the two-fifths, that would be 2. So, travelling from B to D, we've gone 6 to the right and 2 up. So we can now figure out what D is, x-coordinate, if we've gone 6 to the right and the x-coordinate was 2, we'll be at 8. And if we are at a height of 1 and we have to go 2 up, then that'll be 3. So what have we found out? 
center is 83 the radius equals 6 root 10 so the equation is and I'll go down to this formula now we've got x minus the x coordinate x minus 8 all squared plus y minus the y coordinate that's 3 all squared equals the radius squared and what we're doing is we're squaring 6 times root 10 now 6 times 6 is 36 root 10 times root 10 is 10 so we'll get 360 so there's the equation of the circle centre D that we were asked to find x minus 8 all squared plus y minus 3 all squared equals 360.